Let's practice some more Moss Excel 2013. So for this challenge, let's freeze rows one through nine so that when you scroll to the rest of the workbook, these rows are always visible. So here is this nice workbook here. And if I scroll, I'm just gonna hit the down arrow. You can see it's scrolling nicely. And if I scroll up, that's the way it is. What we wanna do is go to the view tab and freeze panes. Now, before you hit freeze panes, you have to make sure that your cursor is below this uh, row nine. Because when you're below row nine, let's see what happens. Let's click on freeze panes, freeze panes. And I saw some lines appear, some faint lines. And now when I scroll, you can see that we froze all these uh, first nine rows. So this is great. So let's try unfreezing that. Go to freeze panes, unfreeze panes. You can see that it's, it's all scrolling normally now. And if you go to freeze panes, freeze top row, we can see that the top row is frozen. This is great if you want to see someone's name just appear there and not move. So let's uh, freeze the first column. And you can see now the first column is frozen. Now there's nothing there, but you can easily stick someone's first name or last name there. Let's unfreeze panes and let's try that again. Depending on where which cell is selected, it's going to determine where the uh, which area is frozen. So if I click on here, for example, this uh, E10, click on freeze pane, freeze panes, you can see that this is divided into four sections and it's frozen from the top left corner of the cell that's selected so now when i scroll you can see that it's freezing everything above this and if i scroll to the right you can see that everything to the left of it is also frozen so let's unfreeze the panes if the goal is to simply freeze the first x number of rows just place your the uh, selected cell, one cell under the row that you want to make sure it's frozen. So in this case, it's the first nine. So I'm going to freeze it here by clicking on cell A10, freeze panes, and you can see that by scrolling down, this is exactly what I want. There are no cells to the left of A10, so that's why we don't see four sections. We simply see the top and the bottom, which are distinct sections. So now let's play around with the idea of splitting. I'm gonna unfreeze these panes here and try to determine what this split button does. So now we want to split this worksheet vertically so you can display rows one through nine in the top window and scroll the budget data in the bottom window. So rows one through nine, I'm gonna click over here randomly in D10, see what happens if I press this split button. So I click on it. This reminds me, I see these lines appear, this little X. This reminds me of freezing the panes. So what's the difference? So you can see I can scroll down and you can scroll up. So what's, what's the difference here? You can see that I can see two things happening or four things happening at the same time. The idea of splitting is that you can actually click on a different split section and start working on different parts of the document. So here, let me just simplify this by uh, clicking on the split button again. And let's just uh, not worry about four different things happening. But let's focus on simply two. So I'm gonna move the cell to uh, near the top here. Let me just uh, press page up and go to click on A10. I'm gonna split this. So because I split it here, like before for one freezing panes, we only have two sections now. So the idea of splitting is you can scroll down on the bottom little split section and I can work on my document. And for this top section, you can also scroll and work on two different sections of your document at the same time. So this is two completely split different uh, views. So as a reminder, let's unsplit this and let's uh, remind ourselves what the difference is by going to cell a10, freezing the panes, 
and I'm gonna scroll down here you can see that I can always see the top section but when I click on the top section and I push down it just returns me back to the original uh, position so here the top section doesn't move it's a little bit different than split you should try that so we'll continue with 1.4b the second part in the next video